This is probably going to be the shortest video on military science ever made. Just like we're going to we're going to we're going to do exactly what we do with religion. And basically whether we do horrible things to religion or good things, but basically we're going to do the same concept. The primacy of geography and terrain cannot be overemphasized. So let, let me give an example here. Why hasn't China attacked Taiwan to this day? 70 years, all this stuff, all this, you know, basically all their propaganda, all the all of their nonsense, all of China's nonsense propaganda. Why haven't they attacked Taiwan? I'm gonna answer this. If you thought if your first instinct is ocean, bingo. Okay, bingo, bingo, bingo. So let, let's put it this way. Imagine this. Imagine if Let's just play fantasy. Imagine if Taiwan was Mongolia. Um, basically, if imagine if just let's do fantasy. Imagine if Taiwan switched places with Mongolia. Okay, they switched places. The, no amount of threat of sanctions. Um, you know, basically, uh, you know, getting blackballed, blacklisted by you know the international community, being sanctioned by the American government. That's not gonna, none of that is going to matter. None of that's going to matter. What's going to happen is if, if all of a sudden, if, if Taiwan was not here and Taiwan was here, um, it would be basically be a one week operation. Basically, China would be able, they would quickly seize the entirety of the land. Um, I, basically, I, I personally believe that. Um, so we've talked about this example before, okay? Uh, I believe if China wanted to seize a territory, with, this is a sovereign country, we're not advocating unlawful war. If they wanted to, I think they could, and they would actually end up, um, they would avoid the completely uh, disastrous fiasco suffered by Vladimir Putin. So if Taiwan was Mongolia, Taiwan would essentially be screwed. Okay, why is, not, why is Taiwan not screwed? Because Taiwan enjoys the strategic... Um, formidable barrier so so if, if you have peace between the two countries of china taiwan it's it, you know basically you want to sail you know a carnival cruise line that's easy as hell but if you're talking about invading and taking over an island um this the only reason why china doesn't attack taiwan is because you have this formidable choke point called the taiwan strait so so no matter what the propaganda is we want to our point is to point out the major significant role of terrain that cannot be negated and if you look at historical examples of uh terrain you know basically popularized by hollywood movie uh 300 whatever um basically um you know, personally, you know, basically, we, you know, we studied, you know, we 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 did a, bit, a little bit of training, we we did a little bit of military science, but you know, that just didn't work out for us, and that's why we we're trying to get to, we think about you know France and other things. So basically, we're not going to get into all of that, but basically, you, you have the situation, right? Uh, yeah, we we have no idea what we did here, but uh, you know, forget the Crayola drawings. But basically, uh, if you have basically. A force that can only pass through a small pass. Basically, where's the defender's going to be? Defender's going to be here, and you're going to have a kill box here. Okay, we're using this as an analog. We're not we're not talking about actual illegal stuff happening on a federal land. Okay, in the U.S., we're using this as a territorial teaching analog. So, so if you have an attacking force, you can have an army that is just massive. Okay, just a human wave that's massive, and you have a small defending force. They turn they turn the past into a kill box, and there are places where there are places where you have uh, look look at this where where you have a part of a mountain range that's basically split in two. If you're trying to move a force up or down, where do you think the battle is going to be? You're gonna they're gonna you're gonna try to you're gonna try to push up through a natural divide, and this is where usually highways between mountain gaps naturally they build. You know, if they wanted to build a highway, they can build a highway through this this range. What where are you going to build a highway? You're going to you're going to drill through. You're going to drill through here. No, you're you're going to drill through here. No, you're going you're going to build a highway along where you have a natural gap. And generally, these things become extremely important if all of a sudden you have some type of armed conflict. So the importance of terrain it cannot be overemphasized. So again, a little you know a little over five minutes.